Hello, today I'm going to show you how to put together the Halloween Pumpkin Lantern by Simply Crafty SVGs. Now as a picture you can see we have two different options for the panels. Uh, this one we're going to show you is an option with vellum panels. So you do have the option to use vellum or not use vellum. So this is the one without vellum and that was uh, the other face panel that's included. And you can mi mix and match. Put both panels then it lifts to uh, have a tea, put a tea light in there or several lights or battery operated candle. And for these panels, I already attached three of them. I already attached the vellum panels. I'm going to show you the last one. It was curling up on me a little bit. So this is an option. You can mix and match. If you prefer the vellum on the back, you can do that. Um, it looks good during the day and also lit up at night. And I did do a little weird inking on my uh, clear vellum to make it a little bit gray tones in the back. So simply what we're going to do is uh, put the panels on these two pieces. So we want to fold it a little bit first to help us place the panels. So you want to get the bottom aligned with the inside of the tab fold. And then also centered in between the two sides. So we're just going to add a little glue. Just make sure you don't get go to the top or side edges. And when you slide it in, align that bottom, center it from on left and right, align it to the bottom, and then you can see it aligns up. But you also want to fold up that little tab on the bottom to make sure that you didn't glue over the edge. So I'll show you on this next one. So right here we center it, but I just want to make sure that it's centered. So that one was a little bit low. So when you fold it up, it'll put it in the right place for you. And you can just verify by looking at the other side. Had a little stray, a uh, little paper fiber on the hanging off the side, but I'll get that off before we put it together. So we do the same thing on the other panel. Again, the folding is to help you place it. I'm just getting that little... I had an issue with my um, blade not cutting all the way through. So if you do like this project um, or the other projects that I create, please like this video if you like this one or and or subscribe. I would appreciate it. That I got a little messy on the uh, vellum on that one. So it's real quick. You could size it out down a little bit. Uh, you don't want to size it down too much because of the lid. Um, but probably you could go to maybe 70%, 60%. Depends how small pieces you want to deal with on the top. So now that we have these two panels um, the actual panels put in the bottom portion of the lantern. We're going to put it together. So I'm just using a little uh, nail file to get rid of that excess paper on the side. So I'm just going to add glue to that side tab, and then line up that edge to the tab fold, and just apply pressure. And then you just want to fold over the other side with the other tab and carefully add glue if you're going to fold it over the existing project like I did. And just fold it over and it'll just line up. So just make sure that edge lines up to the tab fold and uh, apply pressure. Just make sure it's all set before I go on. Then we're going to add uh, the bottom panel. So we're just going to anchor one side by adding glue to one of those long tabs on the bottom. I'm just lining up that edge of that panel to the fold, tab fold. I'm just making sure that I get enough pressure on it. And you could use uh, score tape or something like that to uh, 
or these tabs, you can fold them on the outside or on the inside, it's up to you. So if you want to do on the outside, you could do that, um, but I'm going to fold them into the inside. Then you won't see them at all. So I'm just making sure uh, we get ample glue coverage without it leaking out the sides. And then fold it down. And then you want to just line the edges. So I like to line the sides first. And then once I get it in place, just lightly rub it. And then go around the rest of it and just lightly rub it. And because it's such a big box, you can flip it over and apply pressure with your hand or like a long, long utensil. If I can get my hand in there, I, I select my hand usually. So it completes the bottom portion. And you can see you can, this is a small tea light, but you can see a tea light goes in there to illuminate. You can get a bigger candle too for these. So we're going to next we're going to work on the lid. So this is the stem portion of the little pumpkin top I should say or stem whatever you want to call it. So we're always going to work uh, left to right with these two pieces. If you don't glue it this way it won't go together correctly. So I'm just folding it on the scores first. And that's what it'll look like when it's done. So we're going to anchor that first tab. It's going to add glue to this little tab here. Just line up that first section edge to the tab fold. Make sure it's good and dry and secure before you continue. So we're going to use this little applicator bottle that glued to a couple other tabs. Now the, it does get kind of funky after the first two tabs. What I mean by that is it, it kind of folds around. You see how it's folding outwards? It has to fold the other way. So if once you get those in place, I just kind of pop it around. It's just because of the angle. So you do have to move it around to make sure that that edge lines up to the tab fold. So you just carefully have to do that. You can see I'm pulling it apart a little bit. Sometimes you have to fold it at the same time. So I just switched it around in my hand. just to get it to the right angle. So in that case it was the indentation. So it just needed to be folded a different way. I'm going to get a fold. I mean we're going to glue this uh, first top tab. We're going to align it to that edge, the opposite edge. And I do on this one, I have uh, the tab, the other tab is uh, alternating. I wanted to give that to try to see if it works better for people. So we're going to add glue to attach that other tab. And I'm reaching in at the same time to make sure it's aligned. I think I prefer the tabs on one side, so this may not be something you see in my future designs. I just finally reach in just to make sure everything is uh, secure. So now we're going to add this orange piece. So we're going to anchor that one tab and I'm always going to start where the seam is. So I'm, I'm matching the seam on the, uh, the stem top to, so I know where I start. So we're just going to, what we're doing is making sure that that edge of that pumpkin piece uh, lines to the inside of the tab fold. And then applying pressure to glue the tabs on the underneath that little pumpkin piece. And it is helpful to pull those tabs backwards to get them flexible. I didn't do that on the first two tabs, first couple tabs. 
And then we'll add glue to the last three. You kind of can see it from the top if you're aligned with the tab fold. And you can feel it on the back, obviously, to know whether it's, it's easy to attach it with your fingers. And then we'll go ahead and close this up. So we're just going to align that edge to the tab fold. And just hold it, make sure it's good and secure before you move on. Then we're going to go ahead and glue down that top stem. Um, I had a little bit of a glue bottle issue, so I had to switch glue. Then we go ahead and fold it down. And just kind of push it around, make sure that it's sized and fits the top. That's the nice part about paper is that you can move it around. Then once I get it in place, I apply pressure with around the places where the tabs are. And then for this one, we can actually reach in with like a long utensil, like a um, my handy dandy wooden takeout chopstick, just to apply additional pressure to those tabs from within. So the next step will be putting together the actual lid and adding that to the lid. So we're going ahead, going ahead, and uh, folding every these little edges on the score lines and the little tabs. And we're just simply going to glue these little tabs to the inside and just want to make sure you align those the adjacent edge to the tab fold because fold because there is a little angle. I don't have much of overhanger on this so you want to make sure that you get the right angle so it goes on the top correctly. And again, if you just align the adjacent edge to the tab to the tab fold, then you should be okay. Be should, you will be okay. <laughs> now once we get this together, we'll um, add that little pumpkin piece. Okay, so now we'll go ahead when you you can fold the tabs naturally and then fold them kind of backwards up like I'm showing you here and that's so we can easily fold them up to glue to the inside of the the lid. So you can reach like that or you can go from underneath like this. And then I'm just aligning that edge to that one side of the pumpkin, making sure it aligns with that inside tab fold. And then I'll glue the opposite tab. And the reason I do that is that it kind of centers it for you to glue the other two tabs easily. So I'm just applying pressure to glue it to the inside of that lid. And then you just simply glue the other four remaining tabs. Again, there's just uh, while you're watching me do this, uh, there are two different, there's a lot of panel options on this. So you could use this for, um, you could customize it and do cutouts using your software for a fall box, um, a fall lantern by putting different cutouts. Um, you always have those solid panels if you want to do two panels that are embossed or um, of course those panels are intended for inside vellum pieces so you can use those as well. Then we're just going to cover just to make it, just to finish it so you don't see all this stuff. So you don't need to go all the way to the edge because this panel is smaller than the inside of the lid. So just go ahead and apply pressure around the edges where obviously not the middle. So if you open it up, you don't see all that, that folding. That's going to finish it. Um, or any other, obviously you can add some additional embellishments. So here they are, both of them. And then just showing you how it can be lit up with the two different versions. Well, I hope you enjoyed this project. 
and I thank you for watching.